All right. So we're on number four. Y equals negative secant of 2x um, minus 2. All right, so what are we thinking? What graph are we going to think about? Okay, we're thinking about graphing y equals negative 3 cosine 2x minus 2. What's the amplitude? Three. Three. And so since the amplitude is always positive, yeah. it's the absolute value of negative 3, which is? Okay, period is 2 pi divided by b. In this case, b is? Three. B oh, is the number. Wait. So 2 divided by 2, that's just. Two pi. Excellent. Therefore, the unit is? Okay. Put that on my graph. Wait, how did you get the unit? Sorry. Um, the unit, we're taking the period and we're chopping it up into nice four. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, so so we're just, just taking the pi and dividing it by 4. Gotcha. I didn't show that, but that's how we got that. Okay, phase shift. Negative 2. No, sorry, that's vertical. Okay, let me put the vertical in for you here. Love it when we don't have a phase shift. Okay, excellent. All right, let me draw in. My new x-axis, negative 2. So you don't, so, like if you do have a phase shift, do you have to put it on the graph? The phase shift? Yeah. Be yes, because all the points are going to be shifted. Okay. Unless it's a full period. Mm -hmm. If it's a full period, um, then you don't have to do that, like in the last problem. Just oh, okay. Okay, so where are we at? We are graphing, we're thinking about graphing cosine. The parent function of cosine, of the cosine of zero is one, right? So we start high. In this case, it's negative, and we have a stretch of three, an amplitude of three. So where's our, here's our, here's our like zero, zero. That point is not on our graph because we're graphing cosine. So where am I going to start? High, low, low, because it's negative. Because it's negative. Excellent. One, two, three. There is my starting point. Okay. So, low, zero, two, three, high, zero. Gotta make sure this is right. I don't know if I said that my last one. Because <coughs> I'm recording for America. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please catch my mistakes before I share them with America. You're from America, that's our tradition. <laughs> Good enough. Okay, so if we were graphing negative three because of this equation right here. We would just connect, okay? However, we are not. We are graphing the reciprocal function. So all of these zero points are going to become asymptotes. So I'm gonna draw those in first. Other music on top of it. Industry baby. Yeah, put back on your yeah. so, Is there a clean version of Industry Baby? Definitely not. No, they're probably. Can <laughs> try playing one? Somebody play my favorite song. Play the rock song. You like that song? It's called the what? The rock song. I don't know if I heard it. After we finish recording, play it for me. Actually, I haven't heard the entire thing yet. But... Okay, so. All right, we're almost finished. 
Now we need to make, we need to draw on our graphs here. As, and they're going to be approaching the asymptotes. <laughs> Do you say you love graphing? Yeah. Are you being sarcastic? I love graphing. I like it better than like the other stuff. I do too. Me too. It's like no. It's just relaxing, you know. You just like draw. This is like kinder graphing. Did you hear that, America? Graphing is relaxing. I love it. I don't know, it just, it's easier when you have like all the points you need, but then you just need to like make it's it look It's like coloring books. It's kind of pretty, it's kind of pretty. <coughs> I'm color coordinating Can you give us crayons for our Alright, we're almost finished. Um, crayons? I have crayons. For our test. Lots of crayons. Okay. Can we get so, extra credit if our test is pretty? <laughs> can we talk about that after I finish my reporting? Sorry, sorry. Okay, sorry, so, America. Um, <laughs> Domain, what's the domain? What's the first asymptote? X can't be pi over two. X cannot be, right? I'm looking. We're counting by, um, our first one to the right of the y-axis is right here. And that is um, the unit, which is pi over four. So it can't be so pi over start four with, K? Start with that. Well, it can't be, and this is the hardest part about the, uh, this. We have to do this multiple times to understand this. The distance from the y-axis to the first asymptote is different than from the first asymptote to the next asymptote. So we can't just do pi over 4k because it's not the same distance. We have to say, okay, this distance plus, and then here's our standard distance. So the distance from the first asymptote to the second asymptote, this is consistent. So that's our k. So we have to state the first distance first, then we can use the K. Is it just one? Well, what is this distance from one asymptote to the next? Pi over four. Pi, we're counting in the, in, in the interval, or, sorry, in the unit pi over four. So this is one pi over four, two pi over four, three pi over four. So what's this distance? Two pi over four. Okay, which is? So it's X can't be pi over four plus pi over two K. That's hard. Again, if, if the distance from the Y axis to the first um, asymptote is the same as the distance for every other asymptote, then we just do that distance times K. Is that just for secant? No. That was because the distance was the same. The phase shift. Yeah. So, oh, and the fa that one had a phase shift of exactly two full periods. Mm -hmm. So rather than go over two full periods, we just started because the points would be the same. Sense. Let's do the range and then we're done. So from negative infinity up to and including. In union with one, two, three. Excellent. So fun. It's all folks. <laughs>